Welcome to today's video, where we will be discussing the world's largest fish, the whale shark. Despite its confusing common name, the whale shark is very much a fish and is in the Erectolobiform order of sharks. This order is characterized by the presence of an anal fin, five gill slits, two dorsal fins, eyes posterior to the mouth, and the presence of spiracles, which provide the brain and eyes with oxygen. The whale shark has a short snout and a very large mouth specialized for its mode of feeding which will be discussed later. Its lateral keels and symmetrical tail lobes make it a powerful and efficient swimmer over long distances. The whale shark is unmistakable, both due to its beautiful patterning and huge size, with adults measuring at least 6 metres in length and growing up to 22 metres. The whale shark is a true oceanic nomad, being found in tropical and temperate seas worldwide, where it can be found at depths of 1,000 metres, the surface waters and anywhere in between. Whilst there are some hotspots for whale sharks, such as Madagascar, Philippines and Galapagos, they are highly migratory, with individuals capable of travelling thousands of kilometres in a given year. There is still a high degree of uncertainty about whale shark migrations, but it does appear that they segregate sexually, travelling in single-sex groups. Despite its huge size, the whale shark is utterly harmless to humans, and feeds on plankton, small fish and squid, and the eggs of both fish and crabs. As a filter feeder, the whale shark tends to swim through rich surface waters collecting particles in its wide mouth in a process called ram feeding. The sharks have also been recorded practicing suction feeding, where they will approach a large shoal or aggregation of plankton or small fish in a vertical orientation and open their mouths, creating a negative pressure gradient to draw prey into their mouths. Whilst there are uncertainties about whale shark migrations, they are known to aggregate to feed at seasonal areas of high prey density, such as can be seen in Isla Mujeres in Mexico. The whale shark does have teeth, however these are very small and largely vestigial. Their mode of reproduction is aplacental and viviparous, giving birth to live young, which can number in the hundreds. The pups are believed to be born at 60 centimetres in length, However, much is still unknown about whale shark reproduction, including pupping location. Recent research suggests that whale sharks can live to over 50 years, and it is only in the last few months that an accurate method of estimating age has been validated. Whale sharks are endangered globally, as they are caught for their fins, oil, and are frequently caught as bycatch and tangled in fishing equipment. Furthermore, due to their large size and tendency to swim near the surface, they can suffer injuries to boat and jet ski propellers, leaving potentially fatal wounds. The whale shark is one of the most popular marine animals for dive tourism. In some places, the local economy is very reliant on the health and sustainability of the whale shark population. More evidence that a live shark is infinitely more valuable than a dead shark. Despite the obvious benefits of dive tourism over fishing, there have been some reports of overexploitation of whale sharks for diving and snorkeling where operators allow too many people to swim with the shark at once. As with any diving or nature viewing experience, make sure to do your research before taking part. Thanks for watching today's video. As always, there are a number of ways you can help to conserve and protect sharks, namely by educating others and visiting the following websites to discover more about shark biology and research.